Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. We're looking at the tire for a 2005 Dodge Ram 2500. Doing the front brakes. We're actually doing front brake pads, routers, and calipers on this truck. So let's begin. We're going to take these lug nuts off, break them loose on the ground, while well, the truck's on the ground with the tire on the ground, and then go ahead and jack it up and use safety jacks, whatever you need to do to protect yourself, and we'll get the wheel off the ground and take the lug nuts off and take the tire off. All nuts and bolts are left to loosen, right to tighten. Left then is uh, counterclockwise, tightening is clockwise. If you use, uh, leave the steering wheel loose, or you can climb inside and actually you can turn the wheel a little bit to make it easier. The 13 millimeter bolts are holding this caliper on. Oh, I can tell you my new calipers come with new bolts and they're 10 millimeter, so whatever you need to uh, take them off. It's a good idea usually to collapse the piston. There's actually two of them. Hey, I got, I got a good video for you to do, Todd. Not like these hack ones you've been doing. Oh, you're the guy that's been writing to me. Eighteen millimeter bolt for the caliper mounting right here. Probably be a good idea to have a half inch set, uh, ratchet and sockets. The rotor should slide off. If it doesn't, you can maybe tap it a few times with a hammer. Should get it uh, machined so it's smooth or buy new ones. You can continue to collapse this either with a C-clamp or a pair of channel locks. Put a used brake pad in there while you're collapsing it. You probably want to collapse it at the same time. Squeeze in the middle here.
We got our new rotor. I don't do it all the time, but sometimes you can bolt that up so the rotor stays in place and doesn't flop around. It makes it easier sometimes. when you mount it you might have to push back on these to get this to sit in place this end will go in first in the bottom on this side Like I said, you got our new bolts, these are 10 millimeter, not that it matters. Just tighten those up. Hope you've shown you everything on that. Uh, bleeder screws usually 10 millimeter. You can crack those open. You can get in here again with your screwdriver and collapse the piston as far as you can in these holes just reach in there and do that make sure the slides do slide if you're not doing a caliper and of course we're going to be transferring the line so that's it for your brake job if you want to see the rest of the caliper job just keep watching we're going to uh, of course attach the line and uh, bleed it so we've got a 15 millimeter bolt banjo bolt that allows fluid to flow through it on there I'll be taking that off again left to loosen right to tighten and uh, if you're doing if you're planning on replacing the calipers you might want to take this off or at least loosen it while it's mounted on the vehicle a little easier to uh, break it loose than when it's flopping around like I have it on the top but I'll be using an air gun to zip it right off
to get new washers. Always want to start bolts by hand. Tighten that up. They say 20 foot pounds of torque for this. You do want to verify it doesn't leak after you've done that. And 24 foot pounds for the two bolts on the back there. Those are the specs I got uh, for you. And I bet the wheel lug nuts are probably about 140 or 160 foot pounds. So we got this tight. The nose tight, and we're going to lo loosen this up and uh, bleed the caliper next. Can open it up and uh, do what we call gravity bleeding. Just let the fluid flow down. It should start dripping out a little bit, theoretically. Let's also have this one man bleeder operation. Has a uh, brake fluid in here, clean brake fluid with a hose in there and attached to the bleeder screw that's open. Then it'll go in the vehicle and pump the brake pedal, oh, I don't know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 times. We'll be pumping it until uh, we feel I've done enough. Maybe uh, fill up the bottle halfway because actually no, no fluid was coming out yet. The other option is to have someone else get in the vehicle, step on the brakes, pedal, and then you open up the bleeder. Fluid, will, fluid and air will come out, and then you close it. Then they release the pedal, then they pump it a few times. And then you tell them to hold it, and they hold it, and then you open the bleeder screw and get more air and fluid out. And then you close it. And then uh, keep doing that until you get a nice stream of fluid. And you just close it up tight, and that should be good for bleeding your brake system, bleeding your brake caliper. All right, saw that probably rising up. Let's probably pull it off. And we get some flow now. Still getting a little bit of air there, maybe. But I think we're going to be good, and we can uh, close this up tight. If your brake fe pedal feels funny still, you must could try and bleed it one more time. Maybe find some more air. <laughs> 